Right on cue. That's our roll, bro. Fucking early or never. Look at this. <laughs> My man is a professional. <sighs> Can you see hey. me? Can you see me? Ooh, ooh, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the intro. I'm pulling muscle. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I love yeah, your just... streaming room. Holy shit. What's with all the monkeys? Thank you. Uh, listen, we can get into the monkeys if you want. Uh, Do you want should I be recording? Uh, yeah. You can record. Yeah. That, that, that would help. Thank okay, you. I'll, I'll, start, um, I'll start. I mean, okay. we might as well. We, uh, we just flow me and you. It just works. So. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's exciting. Well, we're hitting it off. I'm I love so it. Excited. You know, like a, like a, like a creepy <laughs> schoolgirl and an old man. Yeah, relationship. It's like a first date. Wait, what? Yes, back Ooh. to the monkeys. Uh, welcome back to episode two of the Mr. Flag podcast. I've got the beautiful Mimio. Look how sexy he is. And he's only Hello. and he's only 23 years old, which I actually thought he was 29. It is. You're going to be shocked with question one. You are going to be shocked. Oh, uh, God. No, but I, why am I nervous? No, I'm like nervous. Question one is deep, bro. Like like real world political, like not, not meme okay. shit, not rust shit. Political? You oh. think I could? I have a brain? I'm an idiot. I, Black? I took a risk. Tell me about the monkeys, bro. <laughs> the monkeys? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'll, I, I love I'll it. It looks so good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we have, I think this one here is, I had names for them. This is Beatrice. Beatrice. Uh, with And she actually has a little son there. I don't know if you can see. That one there is Kong. Uh, oh, well, that's racist. He hasn't always had that hat. No, it's not. Uh, no, 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 no. His name was Kong before the hat. Of course. Yeah. I found the hat at a rave. Let me, and I, I had nowhere to put it. Let me guess. He, he uh, works in rice fields. No. Uh, whatever. Well, he, he's a monkey. He could be in a, in a field. I don't know. <laughs> we have Albert, my butler, and he's holding the most recent edition, which is, I don't know. I don't have a name for him. Uh, if you can think of a name for the golden bus. Can I, can I put this question to the viewers? Can they think of a name? And then me and you Please. can select the name for the golden bust. That would be great. Let me get a close up of him for you. Yeah. If you can think of a name, no, don't look at don't look at my ass. No, no, I did. If you can think of a name for this, that would be that would be great. He he looks very sophisticated. He I, is. He's got I, a bow tie? Yeah, I like. I think he should be professor and then name. You know what I mean? True. Right. Professor who? Professor question mark. Leave your comments in the comment section below so we can name a professor I don't know. You know? I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That that is a really good look. I love your, your room. Do you stream? Thank you. Uh I d no, I don't. I have streamed in here before, but but not really. Not really it's your more, vibe. I want it, it to look nice. Not really. I prefer recording so much. Same, I know some same. people are one or the other, but you know what I yeah, think, no, think our I... problem is, dude, is that we, especially me, I know for a fact, I say stupid shit when I'm live, like dumb shit. Uh, things, yep. things that people piss their pants over nowadays in 2022. You know, I say uh, borderline gay jokes. I say borderline race jokes. Yeah. And and people are just so quick to anger. So I actually am scared yep. of being live, to be totally honest. Well, I not even that. I think Twitch is way more restrictive. Like. Or someone got banned for playing a Cuphead song or something. They got banned for hate speech. It's like, what's yeah. like? I can't think that quick to not yeah to, do to connect like the that dots. On stream. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, would just no. I would just I'd go. be banned. And then you get other streamers who are like butt naked and playing in a bathtub with baby oil, and they're like, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, legit. Yeah, I mean, I'm considering doing that. That might be easier. Okay, Mimi, I'm going to drop you a couple of questions. Okay, I did last okay. week. I interviewed Blueprint and. Yep. I had questions. The podcast I, has gone downhill now. It's, well, yeah, we, we're just reaching at the bottom of the bar barrel, you know, just scraping yeah, it up. Yeah, you, you <laughs> peaked and now you're like, what's at the other end? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, you, no. Are, you are actually, jokes aside, you are one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, you, your you, your level of of comedy is, it's, it's actually, I try to analyze it. I try to realize, I feel like you are the funniest YouTuber <laughs> that I follow. Come I try on. no, I'm not even joking, dude. It's something Come fucking on. no, you go like this, you go <laughs> we we're spawning into vanilla, and I'm like <laughs> you're spawning into vanilla. Like that's I just my accent. That's I don't know what no, but it's not because I got a lot of Australian mates. It's just something <laughs> yeah. about you the way you talk, the way you deliver I I I fucking break. You're like logging in, I'm like it's <laughs> logging in. <I'm> <laughs> Like, I don't but, know I mean, what it that's is. That's a positive. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, no, I'll it's good. It. I actually just watched your most recent video, the one where you did uh, one times, two times, ten times, and a million times. This morning. Times. Was that this morning? Yeah. It was like just before I went to that's sleep and I watched it and I was like, yeah, that's some good shit, you know? That, that was a good fucking video. Thank you. 
Uh, but anyway, Thanks, let me, let's get into the questions before I start talking rust yes. shit. Um, yeah, b -b 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 I'm going to ask questions. If there's anything that makes you uncomfortable, you're more than welcome to say pass or, you know, cut from the video. I don't mind. <laughs> um, okay. I do want to obviously be respectful, but I also want to ask a couple of questions that are going to, you know, get people's tongues wagging and such. Sure. So, okay, so, let's get tongues wagging. So my super political question, like I was telling you about, you ready? Yes. Okay. Now, <laughs> people are going to be like, what is this fucking show? What? Russian forces have invaded Ukraine. Okay, no, no. Russian forces have invaded Ukraine. No, this is actually serious, guys. Stop laughing. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not laughing. I'm just gonna put my mic here, and you can okay. say the question. Okay. <laughs> Your eyes cannot lie. <laughs> okay, Russian forces have invaded Ukraine. Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian, Ukraine was of course part Ukrainians? of Ukrainians. Ukrainians yeah. were part of the USSR, but it gained its independence after World War II. Everyone knows that um, when the Soviet Union was dissolved. Now, my question is, as an Australian, okay, um, and, yeah. keep, and keeping in mind the fact that America and EU nations have done heavy sanctions on Russia, my question is, yep. how big is your cock? That's some Mimeo action right there. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> this is hard. Uh, this is hard hitting stuff, Mimeo. Maybe like three and a half inches. Well, let's pass. Well, yeah. Pass okay, that. we're gonna pass that. We, actually, I'll just cut, <laughs> cut it. That. I'll just cut it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably <laughs> three, three, four. <laughs> okay, testing. We're gonna start asking questions. No, um, no, okay, joke. Yeah. Oh, joke <clears throat> I needed to open with a cracker. I need. I needed to see if I could make Mimeo smile. That actually worked. got me. I thought you were being a hundred percent. I was like, what the fuck am I gonna know about Ukraine and Russia? <laughs> I'm fucking twenty three. I make gay jokes. <laughs> Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, Mimeo's got the answers, uh, bro. He'll, he'll know how to sort it. Do you mind if I smoke? I don't yes, wanna... of course. How you... dare you? Come on. Fuck. <laughs> no. uh, Mimeo, you're my favorite YouTuber, like I just mentioned earlier. I, You are the only Thank YouTuber, you. and I follow a lot of YouTubers and a lot of Rust, non-Rust YouTubers. You are the only YouTuber that I watch videos start to finish. How? Really? Yeah, yeah 100%. Uh, you are the only YouTuber that I can put on an episode to watch the That's entire... like every YouTuber's dream. The, the, what is it? The, the, watch, the watch, time, time. watch time parameter. Need that. I, wow. Okay. Even if it's a good episode and I like a dude, I, I get bored quick. I've got an attention span of a fucking squirrel. So I I'm skip, the same. Skip, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And um, and your videos, I find, for some reason, is just the perfect length. It's got the perfect amount of comedy. You, you cut your videos perfectly. You don't drag your videos on like some of the other youtubers they fucking drag oh my yeah. god you do it short like that that video i just mentioned uh one times two yeah you were doing well on some of the sections and you're like no nope, stop try the next one you could have like dragged yeah, it up. Well, yeah, yeah i'm glad you mentioned that because it's definitely something especially lately i've been thinking about a lot mm -hmm. so if you go back a year you know videos are fucking boring on my channel i mean there's still there's still work to go but i think especially just the last few months I've been focused on, what, what would you say, trimming the fat, getting rid of, Perfecting you know, trying it. to be quicker. Yeah, like I was on that server and everything was going well, but I'm thinking, right, people came here to see the million times server. Let's get to it quicker, right? Fuck this server, we're on the next one. I love that. It, it, it makes your videos yeah. so much more watchable. And then when I see a Mimeo video pop up, because obviously I know I like your stuff, so I ring the bell and whatnot. And then I know that, okay, I have now 12 minutes to 18 minutes worth of entertainment non-stop and that's great it's so valuable yeah. um i did oh, watch some of your so good i did watch some of your videos from your older time like two years ago and they weren't yep. as quality i have to be honest uh they were they were yeah, okay they but, uh you you've really a couple bangers but yeah a couple yeah. of bangers but but it was pretty pretty you know like sort of everyone else i've noticed your meme everyone game. else yep has ramped up so hard your edits and your timing and is that something that you have to like actively work towards you have to practice and train and research to get that level of comedy out because most people just think it's like dick jokes and it's not it is a complex operation to perform yeah yeah, yeah. yeah no i wish it was just dick jokes oh, make it a lot easier oh jeez i'd imagine yeah <laughs> it'd be like a stimp no, thumbnail yeah, exactly mm. I, mean, I don't want to get into that i don't I, know how that man does that uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah no uh comedy i mean yeah it's something i've sort of always grown up with always been the the funny person whether it was school friends mm -hmm. family so i think it's just something i've always 
strive to perfect in my own sense and you got the perfect mix of you know serious you got a little you got a little bit of pvp going there was those videos you did when you did pvp when you didn't talk i think that's when you were focusing right you were like buckling yeah up. Uh, you're a yes. good fucking pvp -er. <laughs> thank you man yeah no, like a lot of these people think it, a lot of people think those videos are fake because i'm not talking yeah but that is literally if it's i swear it's the microphone man if i see this in my peripheral and I'm not focused 100 on the screen. I my aim's off. I can't play. But if this is over here and I'm just playing, I do so much better. I, I agree with like you. When so I when better. I play alone, I move my mic and I use this to communicate with. Um, because yeah, I need to get that. I just get into showtime. As soon as this is in my face, I just want to like put on a performance. I want to talk yep. and be bouncy yep. and shit. And it's kind of fucking annoying because you can't see your hands. It's like who thought that this was the standard? It's fucking terrible. Yeah. Oh. No, it's awful. Why is it not like this quality but on a in, headset? In a, on a headset. That's all I want. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the fuck, man? But um yeah, your your PvP game is like dirty strong. Like have you always been really good at PvP? No. I I think it's just one of those things you do something enough you have hopefully eventually have some sort of skill at it. I think yeah. I've just I like I've played Rust since it was Legacy, like when they first announced Oh it, wow. So you were uh, yeah. Wait, and you're 23 now, so Rust has been out for nine years. You've been playing since you were like 14 ish. Yeah, yeah. So I was in, wow. uh, I would have been in high school then. And me yeah. and my friend Matt used to, I used to come home from high school, log on to Rust and just play the rest of the afternoon, all night. Um, yeah, I remember I got into Rust because I saw, I think it was the Frankie on PC video. Oh, it was yes. called like Gary's Mod Survival Game or Gary's Mod 2 or something, something like that. And I was like, this looks sick. And the only way you could get it then, because it was a private beta. Yeah. The only way you could get it, they had a competition on the Face Punch forums, it was called. And if you drew a piece of fan art, you could win a key. So I went home. I could find the photo for you. I found it recently. I drew this picture of like a dude with like a rust hatchet in his head or something. It was supposed to be funny. Submitted it and I got a key. And that's how I, how I got rust. So, Back in the day. So you in so you technically launched your career by winning a ten dollar game yeah. via fan art competition. <laughs> and the, it's the shittest drawing, man. You, you need to can see you send it, it to me. Long. Like can you send it to me <laughs> oh, well, after the podcast? I'd like to show the viewers. Definitely. Wow. But yeah, that's that's what spawned it. Because since then I was like, wow, this game's awesome. And just yeah, pretty much playing it like you could almost say every day since then. Okay. Okay. Um yeah, you'd hope that I'd be half decent at it by now you are the thing is i've actually watched your, your 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 weapons are good but your bow pvp your your um yeah primitive pvp is insane i'm actually going to add a couple of clips Love for the, the viewers prim. Chad, Wait. more like Brad. <laughs> Wait, no, no, please, Chad. I he does shots that shouldn't be connecting. He just has a feel for it. Uh, Mimi, do you str uh, <laughs> do you struggle oh. <laughs> with with the whole? You're from Australia, so if you want to play with any other creator, you die of ping a disease. Is that a? Is yeah, that a curse? I mean that's it's one of the main reasons I don't really like. I only really play with Stimpy or. You know, on occasion, someone else that I know personally, like in Australia. locally in Australia. Hey. Yeah. So, but I do play on a lot of American servers anyway. So my pings normally, I don't know. Sometimes it's an advantage. People can't hit me. I'm lagging all over the place, and I'm uh, I'm still hitting well, shots. I'm from Africa, so I like I know all about the ping you know, situation. Yeah. But like, I never find it to be really an advantage. The problem is, is that sometimes my ping improves, and then I've honed my aim to bad ping. And then when I get good ping, yeah. I'm firing way in front of people as they're running because I'm expecting that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like your brain is just trained. Yeah, I had that the other day for the video that you were talking about that yeah. went up this morning. I think we're one of the... Cert they were all American, but then one in the middle was Australian. Okay. And I, it just threw me off because the minute I shot, my arrow went down. I'm like, what? I'm like, whoa. Why? I'm just farming. <laughs> I'm like hitting the sparks and there's yeah. no delay. I'm like, this yeah. sounds so weird. Like, as you hit it, it, it does that crack sound. Like, yeah. <laughs> What? I was like, where's the little half seconds? Like, doo -doo 
Do, do, do. <laughs> so weird, man. Bad ping problems. Apparently, the internet yeah. in Australia is quite terrible. Oh, yeah. It's gone off. What, what is your internet speed, if yeah. I'm asked? Uh, I can check right now. Let's do it live. Yeah, but let's do a speed test. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a meme that it's, uh, it's pretty bad. I think... So weird. I mean, mine should be good now. It's more unreliable than speeds. Like, okay, it'll just so die during the day. It'll go out for then, no reason. Yeah, that makes streaming quite hard, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's another reason. I've had a lot of stream crashes in the past when I did try to stream. Uh, so, I've got 110 down and bad. about 15 up. And as you did your so. speed test, I literally got glitching from you. <laughs> See, insane. I can only do one thing. Oh my yeah. god! So wait, wait, 110 down and 15 up. That's, I mean, it's not bad. It must take you a while to upload. No, it's videos. not terrible at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes a couple of hours. I'm from That's literally, fun. literally buttfuck Africa, and I've got a thousand down and 100 up. It's, it's. I, I just, I don't understand Australia, what bro. What the fuck? <sighs> yeah, I know. I, I know. I don't even know. Like, we don't have electricity. I'm like, I'm happy for you. Or but water. I hate you. Yeah, That's we don't have electricity up. or water. <laughs> but like. It's just, I guess it makes uploading great because I, I upload like a 20 minute video. I click upload and it's like, done. Oh, dude, <laughs> I wish. That's the worst bit though. I'll like, I swear that takes the longest uploading. If it's like a 20, 25 minute video, yeah. I gotta go out and do something for hours and come back. And oh then you gotta God. wait for it to get processed and monetized. Oh my Ugh. God. It seems gross. Yeah. Uh, Mimi, oh. you are a full time creator. I can imagine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, so like, do unfortunately. You another feeling bro uh I, I'm, I'm a full-time creator too except i don't get views so i'm like in you know i'm a i'm a i'm like one of yeah, those yeah but you get you get physical items man i want to get into this you, i've never seen someone get more sponsored stuff in my life this man has about 15 laptops in his fucking house that he had sent to him i can't even get one Okay, I'm first jealous. of all, it's and nine. It's nine, not 15. <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> no, no. You have no. nine laptops. No, I give them away and I sell them when I uh, when I upgrade. Oh, so I only nice. actually have one. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. And I mean, yeah. I use a laptop as my only machine. I don't have a desktop machine. Um, I just have a really, okay. really powerful laptop. Yeah, I just, I things. always see, whenever I see you on Twitter or YouTube, it's always, it's, you got some cool tech and I'm like, man, how's Flack getting all this stuff? It's actually you know, something do you, I don't. You want to hear the story and viewers on how I get you should. So, but don't tell them. Tell me. Okay. I'll, 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 <laughs> yeah. I'll cut this out of the, the edit. Don't I'm sponsor about, me. Bro. I'm a fucking waste of money. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to throw that in there. You know, you know how sponsored slots work. You just you work yeah. out a deal. It gets it. By the way, your sponsored slot for Manscape. I quite enjoyed that. I like your integration. Is that, I can imagine that's a product oh, that you. you feel quite positively yeah. about. Definitely, yeah. I I was using their products like ten minutes ago in the shower. I actually, one of the sponsors I do always use pretty much every day now. I actually They're like great. that. I, I, like, I like it when because I can actually see it when you doing a video, and then um, you talk about the sponsor, and, and you can tell when somebody when a creator uses or believes in the product or doesn't. Yeah, you can yeah. you can see it a mile away. Yeah, and, it's like a subconscious thing. You just read it in their face. Yeah, like, yeah. And your your so manscape shit. Yeah, the, the way you say my balls are fresh and smooth. It's just, it's, it's dude, they are. Oh. I won't lie. Like I, I could show. Do it. Wait, wait. I'll, we'll cut it out. We'll cut it out. But you can show me. You, okay. You can. All right. Yeah. Okay. This video is sponsored by Manscaped. That is disturbingly smooth. Do you know what I mean? Like a Barbie doll. Clearly Ken works. Doll. Clearly works. Holy fuck. Mimi, I gotta <laughs> ask you, brother. I gotta ask you. Um. And please, again, you may you may ignore, you may... Are, are you gay? No. No, are you actually straight? <laughs> yes. No, I, you laugh. No, you, I you, get that question a lot. Yeah, don't... The, the, yeah. the thing is, you are particularly uh, well-trimmed for a man, first of all. And second Thank of you. all, you, wow. you, you do make, you know, a couple of comments here and there, and it's very difficult to read sarcasm on Twitter. And you just, yeah. you don't really know. So I was actually quite curious if you, if you, you know, were gay or straight. No, no, I, okay, so I'm you're... not, I'm straight. So, yeah, so, I have a girlfriend someone... who I, I live with. Oh, sick. Someone mentioned it once and I looked and I'm like, and I thought of the, the jokes you make and then like some of the things you say. And I couldn't read sarcasm and I was like, is he, is he gay? I mean, it wouldn't yeah. matter. It wouldn't matter. Like, I, I'm not one of those people that yeah. like, that talk about uh, like like race or homosexuality and say I've got yeah. gay friends. I have no gay friends. I just I don't have a problem yeah. with gays. But I mean, it's just um, sorry, gay boys in the chat that were hoping. Sorry guys. 
Yeah, I started to get your hopes up so you, all these years. So you stay with your girlfriend. I've been you, baiting them. <laughs> You've got to <you> bait it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you stay with your girlfriend. How long have you guys been together? Uh, we're creeping up on two years now. So yeah. Planning marriage. What's the what's the vibe like? Uh, but yeah, in the future, mm. you know, who knows? Yeah. Oh, the fact that you looked at the camera, am I hearing certain bells? <gasps> am I, knows, am I editing, knows, am I knows. editing bells into this recording? Who knows? I'm trying to throw away from the gay questions so people don't actually realize I am gay. See, I'm trying to. Ah, um, okay. But you, you at it, yeah. yeah, you adding, My girlfriend, yeah. you're adding proof. Yeah. Her name yeah. is Michelle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the most generic woman name I can think of. Michelle. Okay, so you stay with your girlfriend. Do you, go, uh, do you have yep. like an apartment? Do you have a house? What's your, your living situation like? Uh, this was her house and I moved in here. Oh, sick, sick. So, and then put up all the monkeys and ruined her house. Well, of course. So I'm originally, I'm in Sydney, New South Wales, okay. Australia, but I'm originally from Tasmania, a little island off of Australia at the very bottom. Oh. Um, and so I fly between here and there all the time because... Oh, your folks I'm live in Tasmania. In Tasmania, yeah. Do they have Tasmanian so devils? Yeah, where they're from. Wait, is that a thing? Tas yeah, Tasmanian devils. They're nearly extinct. They all get cancer. They get cancer. Yeah, I know it sounds like a bit because it's coming from me. No, well, yes, it black. does. Black. They get cancer. I don't know why, but they're all nearly of them. extinct. There's not many left. Yeah, for so they get tumors and they die. I don't know why. Wait, what do they look like? Can I, can I Google one quick? Have you not seen, they're cute. They're um, cute. If you get a good photo, they're cute. Tasmanian devil. I didn't know they were real yeah. creatures. Yeah, they're like little possums. They're little dogs. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> that's a bad photo. Look at some of the other photos. They're cute. Oh, they're that's, really that's, cute. That's kind of cute. Oh, they'll like oh. mole your face. Though. They'll, they'll kill you. Are, are they violent? Yeah, big time. I actually thought that you know this one. The I thought Look, deadly facial tumors. That said, see, uh, deadly facial. Never photo. Oh, see? told you, man. Yeah, bro. Oh wow, I actually didn't know they were real. Um, I feel like such an idiot. God. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what Tasmania is known for. Their they, they, they tumor cancerous, tumor wingless cancer cartoon bats. characters. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. They look like so, um, bats. yeah. Yeah, I have uh, I have pretty much. Nearly this set up back in Tasmania, and mm. then I just I fly between. How, how, of, how often do you go back to home, family, and stuff? Uh, well, I've been here. F I've been up in New South Wales for about a month, and then I normally fly back to Tasmania after about a month and a half, two months. I'll go back for like two weeks, then fly back here for another month, month okay. and a half. What was Mimeo's home life like? Like when you were growing up, um, before you did YouTube, like did you have brothers and sisters? Was the family strong? Did yeah, you I have. I got two sisters. Two parents. Fucking hope it was two, not three. <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't make much sense. Yeah, yeah. four parents. It was yeah. a complicated house. 18 I know, uh, yeah, it was good. My sisters were, um, especially my older sister, she's big into, well, she was big into video games. Oh, wow. That's growing nice. up. So I, the main thing was I would sit down and watch her play games, mm. which is what I enjoyed doing rather than playing the actual game, like Kingdom Hearts 1. I'd sit there and watch her play it all day. Oh, wow. So you were, so, you were, you were like the yeah. early version of Twitch. You were like Twitch. Yeah, also. yeah. Like watching a YouTube video. Yeah, I'd sit there and wow, wow. I remember when I was a kid, I used to drive me insane because we'd, we'd be poor and, and like all the cousins would have one console. And then you'd have to wait yeah. like 18 turns for your turn. And I hated watching. I only wanted to play. I couldn't stand watching. Oh, really? Weird. Okay. Yeah. What do your parents think of your of your gaming career? Oh, they love it. Oh, do Especially they? My mum. She, yeah. If I stream, she's in every stream. Oh. She'll be messaging me on Facebook like, "Oh, that bit was so funny." Or, uh, she'll you watch have some Facebook. of the videos as well. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? You doxing me? No, I just like doxing me right now, Flack. Facebook's weird. I'm just. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't have Facebook. Like, like who in the? No, like mess messenger. You know, you message people. Bro, we've got something called SMS. Heard of it? S How? old are you Flack? i'm i'm 35 <laughs> years old actually i'm not even joking well you don't look a day over 35 I'll <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's good um so tell me mimi you started rust at 14 years old um yeah how right. long have you been creating rust content for 
I think it's about five years now, maybe slightly Has more. everybody started oh. around about the same time I started? I don't understand. Blueprint as well, also five years. I've been on for like four and a half really? years. Yeah, yeah. So Blueprint I, five years, really? Blueprint's only five years on Rust. Unbelievable, I eh? Thought, I thought it was less. I thought he like came up out of nowhere like three years ago. And no, no, no. I, rem I remember watching his videos when I just started and I was like, oh my God, listen to this youngster's voice. Um, wow, he would have been young. Yeah, 14 when he started growing wow. his trust audience yeah jesus yeah so yeah. so who, obviously at some stage you decided i'm going to do youtube when yeah. was that decision and who inspired it that was i would have been in my first year of college i think yeah i i watch a ton of youtube i still do mm -hmm. but back then i was yeah every day watching rust on youtube other games always wanted to be a youtuber i think even when i was real young mm. And yeah, I think I watched a lot of, I was watching Faceless back in the day and like oh. Zuckles. I think he was blowing up. Yeah, yeah. When and they, so when they thought, had that little turf war when they like fell yeah. out. That was, that was That's sick. funny. Well, Faceless is pretty much the reason I actually started because the reason I started doing YouTube was he had a tweet out saying that he was looking for a graphic designer for his Twitch panels. Okay. And I was studying graphic design at the time. And I, I wasn't half bad at it. And I was like, hey, man, I'll make them for you. He's like, sweet. So I hopped in a call with him, did all this stuff for him. He's like, awesome. Thanks, man. And then one day he was doing a, like, I think he used to do Grief Will Be Griefed. I remember series. that. Like, I loved it. Yeah, that. Loved it. So one of his earlier ones of that, he messaged me on Twitter and he's like, yo, what's your Steam? I need you to help me with this grief thing. Like, you play Russ. I'm like, yeah, dude. So I think I'm in one of his early videos. I sound so... I I, I'm going to find us. I'm going to find us. Was your name Nico? I'll send that to you as well. No, oh. no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. I would it was, love um, to see that. My microphone was a PS3 iToy <laughs> webcam that I dangled off my desk and put a sock over. It was so bad. <laughs> so I helped him with that. And then he, I had already released like one or two videos. I think they're like Rust Cinematics. I had my dear friend who was about a deer. It's still up. I think the first video on my channel. Um, and so he shouted me out at the end of that video and I got viewers and subs off of that. And then from there, I just kept going. So, well, look at that out, faceless. I'm so fresh. You can, you can suck my nads. I'm I so made, fresh. Oh, suck, yeah. And there's newer ones. I made that intro. That, that was me. You made it's, that it's intro. It's like a bunch of, not the like, it's like a yarn cat. Not that one. The one with the crowd of people. And the chicken and bones. Like, they're all clapping. Not that one. No. There was one after that. Um, if you. If you know, you know. Well, okay. There was the, I'm so fresh. You can suck my, there was that one. And then there was that, and there was the other one that goes, um, Oh no, it was the, uh, faceless for, for the boys. boys. Faceless for, for the boys. I made that one. You That's did. what I made. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, and he wow. made me make like 50 fucking versions of that intro just with different lights. And I was like, yeah, I got that, I got that. that is so yeah, cool. I made, I made that. Like th that was like my yeah. early, earliest memories into, into Rust. <laughs> yeah. And it was you. Yeah. Well, that was, yeah, when I started. So I started off with that. That is unbelievable. And it's quite foreshadowing as well, because there was that one song where it said that I'm so, so fresh, fresh you can suck my nap. And then you now represent Manscaped. Now I have smooth nuts. Now you have that can be sucked. Like a Barbie doll. See? Not, you don't suck a Barbie doll. He's nuts a like a Barbie It's a lot. No, time. why are you, who's sucking Barbie doll? I don't know. I am. Anyway. Make it a weird. <laughs> Where do you see Mimeo going? Where do you see Rust going? Like, do you think that Rust is your future? Um, I know you started Rinsed, for example. I love yeah. Rinsed. It is so fuck, Guys, if you haven't Thank seen, you, Mimeo's got a second channel called <laughs> Rinsed, but it's like an IRL. It's like this, but scheduled and planned and structured, and it's funny. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know about any of that. But no, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's... I'm going to link link in the video description. You've got to check it out. It is fucking great. Um, are you... I don't remember seeing a rinsed video recently. Are you still working on rinsed? Uh, so not at the moment, just okay. because it, it's all over the shop because we filmed them in Tasmania, obviously. Okay. And like I said, I'm constantly going back and forth. And so it's, it's kind of difficult to plan anything because also Jackson, who I do the videos with, he has a full-time job mm. he, or he did at the time making the videos so it's it's hard to schedule anything course, in yeah especially when it's kind of i'm just doing it for fun it's not oh yeah it's not like yeah. my main thing yeah 
But yeah, I think the most recent one was the one where we had Stimpy fishing, which was yes about a month ago. Yeah, so that is. I, I can tell you what though. I I know when channels work and channels don't. Like my channel doesn't work. Yours does yeah. work. I, I can tell you, there's a big future. There's a big future in rinse. Like if you were to dedicate time to that, yeah, that, that would be your, your jam. You could <coughs> you could have rinse replace Mimeo, no problem. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, it's uh, <coughs> excuse me. I think right. it's hard because it's it's more sort of touchy humor and also in youtube yeah like it, it's Everyone's normally based around alcohol or you know just doing dumb stuff that shouldn't be done yeah um and so it's it's hard for those videos to actually get views a lot of them are demonetized it's actually quite refreshing to see that though because of you know everyone is getting so fucking sensitive and pussy um to yeah. see to see videos like that in 2022 is quite a shock so i really hope you don't yeah. stop it um uh, the world needs that shit I'm so tired of of, yeah. of little pussies that cry about everything, and it, yeah. it it would be really nice to just have that culture back. You know, like I fell in love with 2016-ish YouTube, and things were Same. a lot yep. more possible back then. You know, you could you could you could say jokes, you could make a joke, and people didn't cry to their fucking grandmas. Uh, filthy about Frank it. came out now. Oh, oh God, Jesus yeah. Christ, Filthy Frank. Hellstorm. Yeah, it's <laughs> and I mean, like, it's not even like it's not even offensive. It's just like that mob mentality where one person thinks it might be slightly offensive, and everyone just hops on board. Yeah. These little fucking warriors, and they want to defend. And, and let me let me follow my schedule. I just I've okay. Well, I clearly I think, don't. Yeah, follow we went it. off tangent there. Yeah, well, I, I think uh, I, to I, answer your original question, I think the future is <laughs> I'll hopefully merge. <laughs> I'm trying to structure no, 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 this please, right. Please, I please. should be. Thank you. Yeah, you can host the next one. Who are you going to have on the show? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would say the future would be hopefully to to merge the two with Rinse and Mimeo. Probably because I'm already more established on Mimeo, my my main channel. Mm. Uh, probably move some of the Rinse stuff over to that or just start releasing more real life stuff on Mimeo, if you know what I mean. Because yeah. that's, that's the ultimate goal. It's kind of steer away from Rust. I think I'll always do Rust, but yeah you know different I mean, like, games and also some more real life stuff. yeah de games have lifespans and i mean rust is on nine years now it's That's the thing yeah do you ever think they'll yeah, be a rust I mean, two? uh probably i remember they were working on that fantasy one oh like, ages ago that do you was remember exciting that, that was ex uh, what is it called again that looks sick I dude I, I love the idea of that it. was like, years ago because my favorite part of rust is prim as soon as people get guns i get bored yeah, definitely that's um, boring yeah so like the idea of like a fantasy uh, where your peak weapon would be a crossbow and you can do spell casting, but it's rust. Yeah. Oh, heaven. Heaven. If um, it was like Mordhau weaponry with rust oh mechanics. Oh my god, can you imagine? And quests Yo, and leveling up. Mordhau that would be sick. fighting with the bows and the, the melee yeah. system is so good, but you could build yeah. your own little house. Like, that, that is would cool. be sick. That was, How has that not been made? Right? Are you kidding me? That is a good we should make that. Do you know how to make cut games? that out of the podcast. Yeah. Let's make it. Oh, well, I did do game design actually. Really? I yeah yeah that's a, hmm. that's a fun fact. It, I did. I, I'm, I'd I'm tell you what, it. if you can jokes aside, if you can make a Rust Mordo Prim game, it will fucking slap, that will, bro. That will blow up. Yeah. Oh god, because I might I, sue I've, me though. I've, I've played like Mordo. Punch. I've played Mordo and it's fun, but like, there's only so many fucking you know battle axes you can put in people's faces before. Yeah, it's just it's just watching the same animations like, over and over. Like, again. Like, okay. Imagine imagine spawning out on like on a coast of a lake of some kind. You have to first craft your weapon before you fight. It'll make the Mordal co combat system a little bit more like cautious. You wouldn't yeah. just run in and fucking start swinging. Um, and it gets rid of roof campers from Rust. That's gone. Oh, that roof that is a, with a spear. The jokes aside, I mean, that could, is exciting. But... I'd fuck. Yeah. I'd main that shit in a heartbeat. Oh my god! I played the hell out of that. Yeah. And if they, what were your thoughts? I'm asking the questions. What were your thoughts on the uh, XP system in Rust? Love hate relationship. Um, okay. I Why? loved. I, I love the fact that, um, the prog the the progression was staggered. Um, you couldn't just yeah, go ba ba ba. Uh, do 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 rig get an AK. It, it, you had to work, yep. and it slowly released item. I love that aspect. It, it drew the game out so yep. much longer. It made it fun. It made primitive a lot more fun. The problem that yep. I had with the XP system was, who justifies what gets unlocked? Um, 
I have, to, yeah. I have to do this amount of, amount of stuff to unlock the next item, which is what Face Punch chose. I think that, because I can imagine you like the XP system. Yeah, I loved it. It I seems it right up alley. If, if yeah. I had to be honest, I, I would make it so that you would be, there would be tiers. So yeah. if you did a certain amount of XP and you unlocked a level, you could, you could manually unlock X amount of items in that tier. So oh. like the workbench tiers now yes. that make that the XP system. Exactly. Yeah, I was going to say that. In, in, in like, that would be like the perfect. In a, yeah, so, so basically the XP would serve as your scrap. So you'd grind, yeah. grind, grind, you'd gather, and then you can start unlocking things at your choosing. Well, that, that's kind of like a like an RPG game, like we're talking about. You make your own skill tree. Like if you want to, yes, if you, you know, go down the water pipe scenario and yes. then get semis, or if you want to go bow, crossbow, compound, compound bow, bow, that could be your yeah. choosing. I love that. Yeah. What What are your thoughts on the XP system? Do you feel it was the best system to date? I mean, I'm sure it had problems, <laughs> but like. <laughs> Because, you know, you get a 50-man Zerg that would just stay up for 48 hours straight and then they'd have AKs by the end of the day because they didn't yeah. sleep and they just grinded. Yeah. But you get that now with scrap, so it's not much different. So I, mm. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. I, I did like it. I just I didn't like the fact that I couldn't choose what was coming next. You know, you just grind, 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 yeah. and then eventually you'd get a, a metal ice pick and that, that was yours to use. You had no choice. Yeah. I, do you know how I think the only way we can slow down progression in Rust is... is if, yeah. if we had to make items that are crucial to gun making physically not available for a couple of days. Um, rifle, oh, yeah. rifle bodies and semi bodies do not spawn in the game on the first three days. Yeah. So you cannot make one. Um, maybe you can find one, but once it's done, it's done. You know, that's it. Make it so yeah. that they... But even if you did it with uh, like in-game days... So, yeah. like, after maybe 100 in-game days, then yes. AKs are fucking... They start spawning them. in. So, so you can you can run rig as many times as you want. You can lock... They do not release a semi-body or a rifle body, and as a result, yeah. you cannot make an AK. It would stop, like, the massive clans just camping the airdrops every time and getting the same loot. It's yes. like, everyone's got a crossbow now. You <laughs> make it work. Make it work, you know? Yeah. That'd be awesome. I, I, that's, I, that's and idea. it is a simply a really good idea, and you can do that not just with rifle bodies. You can do it with anybody. Um, you can do it with key cards. Red key cards do not spawn for yeah. the first 30 days on... <laughs> and it'll, it'll, it'll lengthen the game out. I'm so tired of hopping on a server, right? Because I've got a family, I've got kids and shit. And yeah. I have, have dinner, baby needs a bath, blah, blah, blah. And then when I'm done, I need to hop on Rust. And Rust has been going for two hours now since the fresh wipe. Hop on yeah. it. And in my loading screen, I'm hearing AK fire in the first two hours on a fresh wipe. Yeah, no, I, I hate that. <sighs> Yeah, it's. Well, I'm the worst because I'm always late to wipes for some reason. I, I think I just don't know the timings when stuff wipes. I asked Blueprint this as well, so I'm going to ask you. I think I'm going to make a couple of anchor yep. questions throughout the series. If you had creative control mm. of Rust, what would you change? I would. This I mean Stimpy. I, this isn't the first thing that I would change, but it's one of them. I mean Stimpy always talks about it. Definitely add more primitive stuff, and like, like. The different arrow variations, you could do so much with that. Like poison arrows. You could, like, there's so many cool primitive weapons that they could add, but all they do is focus on guns and end game. It's like, you don't just load in and get to end game. Most of your time should be spent getting up to end game. Yes. But there's like hardly any content there. So I would definitely focus more on that side, the early side of the game. I, I love that you mentioned poison tip because, I mean, there's forests full of berries, yeah. you know? Certain berries yep. could do certain things. Um, yeah. If I can make my arrow a flame arrow, why can't I make an arrow a poison? Um, yeah. Poison can function because the mechanic is there. We've got radiation. Poison can function like well, radiation. Well, same thing. Yeah. Maybe it could like stop you sprinting or something. And yeah, then you as slowly it hits you lose and health. you start losing, losing. And then you have to, like, like rad pulls, you have to, you know, make an antidote. It's another item to craft. Yeah. It's another layer. I mean... Think about it. If you don't have uh, reds or, or poison protection on you and you're in a fight, somebody hits you. I mean, everyone's shooting guns at each other and somebody knocks you with a poison arrow. Yeah. You, you just keep on going. I think it would balance the scales of it. Bro, that's quite a quite a strategy. I yeah. like that. And, you know, I also feel like like we've got primitive weapons. We've got our melee weapons. I don't even know if I'm saying that word right. Melee. Ma I melee. never know. Is it melee, melee, melee? You got One big fucking sticks and shit, and you're hitting each other. Yeah. 
the the the, the combat system is so not okay in Rust. It's yeah. This generic ass swing and like there's no block function. I can't use my fists. Does that also infuriate yeah. you as somebody that loves Prim? Yeah, I mean it does, but also on the other side of it, I I know why they're not focused on that because majority of Rust players uh now are from console and they're 15 years old and they want to get guns and go deep people. yeah yeah fair play yeah that's what they want to do so let's make the guns better let's add more guns let's add skins and yeah i don't know as a i feel like it's just i don't know i'm getting old man you know like, uh, i know the feeling bro i've been I've, those things i'm I've, like i've hated everything for the last 10 years trust me i know yeah they like add in a new clan helicopter and i'm like man we, we don't need this no. why are you adding a scrap heli why, do, I why do i need to transport 15 people the cars were dumb the helis were dumb I, I no one uses that's the other thing like get rid of the cars get rid of the roads no one's using them you, if you don't have a car on a road it goes at about 0 0.5 miles an hour it's the slowest thing no one's using them you have to compile 70, 75 different items in order to make it like yeah i uh, uh, for example, cars. Why aren't they spawning with ninety percent of their parts already in there? So all you have to do is like yeah, whack, whack, whack in a piston, you know? They went to DayZ, but there's a reason no one plays DayZ anymore because there's too it's, much. Because it's do too DayZ, people want to hop yeah, on. Yeah, there's fun, way too off. much. Like that's what I've done in those days. Can opener. You you know you know the the small the, the the car components. Imagine they did away with the car components, right? And all you had to do was grab a small yeah. battery. All you had to do was grab a small yeah. battery. Pop it in, put in a bit of gas. You'd use cars more, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. I um, think everyone would. And if they made them better off-road, definitely. Yeah, I don't know if, you, if, if you've if you driven the snowmobile. I have, yeah. That was actually pretty fun, but it it's dry, hard to control. It's hard to control, but it's terrain um, yeah. handling is a lot better than cars. Because cars feel like you're bumping yeah. everything every two seconds, and it's annoying to drive. If they made the cars yeah. easier to get used and sort of flow a lot nicer over the terrain people would use them um, yeah i uh i don't know why but i picture if you've ever played death stranding the cars and like the bikes in that game haven't played it's it. the most rocky terrain i've ever seen in my life okay but you can just drive you just sort of glide over it yeah, like yeah. your car just kind of bumps a tiny bit and it just goes that that's you see that works nice. so well it's supposed to be fun like that's why i think horses are so desirable because you can find yeah. one, you can hop on it, you can use it, and they don't get stuck on everything. They sort of also just glide over yep. the terrain. Um, yeah, see, horses were a good addition, and everyone was, uses them. I, I think anything like. primitive is a great addition, and, and I don't think Rust yeah. has realized it yet. Because I don't find get, hanging out with 20 friends, getting guns, and building a big thing and defending it for seven days is fun. I think it's yeah. fucking boring. Like, give me adventure. A lot of people do like that, though. Like, yeah. Eh. yeah. You know, a lot of people do like, like men as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd know. <laughs> Bro, your cover's getting blown, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not gay. Listen, um, I'm not. Okay. Who's, your, who's your favorite YouTuber? Oh, that's a tough one, man. You can give a couple if you want YouTuber. to. Like, like, give me give me a, a loose rope lasso. You know? I mean, you know, if if ever I'm sitting at my desk here and I'm eating something, i got to put on Good Mythical Morning, Rhett and Link. Always got to watch them. Can I Google that? A good Mythical Morning? Don't know them. Surely. No, come on. Good Mythical Morning. GMM? Morning. Good Mythical Morning? They have like a video nearly every day. They do a lot of different things. You don't know them? I don't know them. They're like, they're YouTube OGs, Rent and Link. Holy shit. They do heaps of videos. Oh, yeah, they, they're they, great. They have, um, they have a quality taste in beverages. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, listen. What, what do they yeah. do? Like just little skits and shit? Just like anything, it's mostly food related stuff. I think I'm I'm one of those people that I need to watch someone sort of eating and doing stuff well, if I'm eating. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know why, <laughs> but I don't like hearing people eat. So that's weird. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, you don't like the sound of chewing? Like, is it driving you insane? <clears throat> so, good that. mythical morning. Who are who's your favorite Rust creator? Uh, Rust. Oh man, that's tough as well. I mean, I really. I mean, you could see yourself. I'm friends it's with totally both these fine. guys. I yeah. mean, definitely me. Well, but. No. I mean, who's I would say uh, lately a lot of I watch a lot of Fancy Orb Confusion. Those uh, guys are killing it lately. They're just doing. They, I just like seeing stuff that hasn't been done before. That's they, why I. They are quite yeah. quality. Yeah, I actually mentioned um, Fancy in Blueprints video, and I was like, Yeah, Fancy, and also Confusion. Oh, you yeah, know, we've been in hit their events. Before. Yeah, like they're and, always and, doing new stuff. You're like, man. And Confusion, like he puts a lot of work into his videos. I mean, like Fancy, he puts a lot in, but yeah. 
like confusion puts out a lot into his videos i actually watch yeah, his videos and I'm i aspire blown away. to get to that man's editing level because that is on another level yeah. guys fancy orb confusion they're like new yeah. generation youtubers they started like last week and they're like dominating yeah. memeo fuck you good quality <laughs> This, I love those guys. Yeah, They're really no. nice too. They just yeah. That's the thing. I, I I played in a Rust tournament with with both of them, and they they were like they were like fanboying. They're like, oh my god, like Frost is here, and this person's here. And that. I was like, that's kind of. I miss that. I'm I miss I miss feeling yeah. excited about these things. Like I'm talking to yeah, literally one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. No offense, uh, to definitely in anyone. the whole world. Yeah, in the whole world, and like it's yes. that, that, we just like bros, and it's so weird like being acquainted yeah. because. Like, I mean, you, you remember with Faceless. F F Faceless could have been like, listen, I'm in the same, oh, yeah. same cab money. Come over and suck my dick. And you probably would have. Um, Dude, I would have been there. I would, I would have paid for the taxi ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah you you would worried. have paid him to receive his dick. Yeah. And and that's how it is. Like, I, I And I forget that that's a thing. Because, like, um, people reach out to me and then they talk to me like, you know, you would talk to Faceless back then. It's like, yeah, you're excited about the cut. But then once you get into YouTube and then it doesn't really feel that special anymore. And... and Thing like fancy orb and no. confusion come up and they've got that 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 sparkle in their eyes and they got that that desire it's so nice to see i i, yeah. I miss it's, that feeling it's definitely uh, a starting out thing i think I, mm. yeah i find it so weird still like i've had not many but i've had experiences before if i get recognized especially after doing rinse stuff uh, so if i get that that trips me out man someone asked for a picture i'm like what the fuck like why are you kidding me i think it's a <laughs> joke i'm like what and it me? was actually serious why yeah, no, I've had yeah, I've I've had a couple of those, which is really weird to me. I'm, yeah, I play Rust. Yeah, you, you're like like you you're just a dude that plays games and records. You're not a celebrity. Yeah, but people treat you like yeah. a celebrity, which is weird. I, I, yeah, I, I or do, if you hop in a Discord call and yeah, yeah it's, everyone goes silent and they're like odd. too scared to speak and shit like that. Like, come on, man! Like, I'm a dude. Yeah, see, I hate that. I don't know how to react to that. No, no, no. What what, what mm. you got there? What you got there? Uh, I drink a lot of kombucha. The this fuck? is actually a switchel. You know kombucha? Kombucha? Fuck it, Australia. This is a blood orange switchel. Australians switchel. are weird. It's like, you know, you know kombucha? Do you? We don't have that. You never heard of kombucha? No. It's like, uh, I don't know how to describe it without sounding gross. It's like sort of bacteria, probiotic, fermented stuff. <laughs> like non alcoholic <laughs> wine, I, I guess? <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it, it kind of tastes alcoholic, but like, it's not. Like, no alcoholic orange wine. Yeah, this just tastes like sort of Fanta or something like that. Yeah. But it, they're always, like, no sugar, and they're really good for you. Okay. They're healthy. Well, I'm, yeah. you know, I drink only sugar and caffeine, so that, that's well, there you go. We don't have yeah, that. I don't do any caffeine. Really? You don't do drink it. coffee? I used to drink coffee every day. I used to have, like, four energy drinks a day when I was growing up, and I think that's just fucked me up. Because now if I have any form of coffee i just get the jitters and anxiety later in the day and i'm fucked i'm gone you viewers probably wondering why mimi i had a black square and was muted over his face for the last 40 seconds you see he was telling me about the benefits of drinking energy drinks on a regular basis yeah oh, but red bull i can drink now red bull especially the south african ones though they're well wow. wow. in the ingredients <laughs> it, it does something to me Ooh, what do you drive I'm curious what do I drive? Yeah, what do you drive? Like I, it's not a bad car, but I mean, I, I I drive a piece of shit. Man, you've gone from Blueprint having a Tesla, oh. and now you're gonna go to me. I drive. I, I drive. I drive a car that costs two thousand Australian dollars. Um, I'm not yeah. a materialistic okay. person. So I don't I don't care about stuff. So yeah, no, neither. I, I probably find like an old rusted but cool pickup truck a lot cooler than a Tesla, personally. But I mean, you, yeah. What do you? Oh, I mean, I want a Tesla. I really like Teslas. They're but... lovely. Yeah. I um mine mine costs like three and a half grand I think it's a Mazda three, two thousand eight I think. Those are nice cars. Yeah, I love Mazda. I mean, th I love a Mazda three. Is it They're the so is it the sedan or the hatch? Uh, it's a sedan, I think. Yeah. Does it have the big round boots yeah. or does it have a liftable trunk? No, 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 no. It's got the liftable trunk. The liftable. Tr I like this. That's the sedan, by the way. I like the sedan's tail yeah. lights on that car. I love the tail lights on that car. I'm actually going to yeah. overlay a picture of it. I love those tail lights. Yeah. I have two of them. I have one in Tassie and one in New South Wales. They're good fucking cars. Because I got I got used to driving it, so I'm like, I'll get the exact same car up here. Why not? No and they're problem. cheap. Yeah, they're cheap. They yeah, and I'm tight with money. 
and I'm poor and no, I'm broke. No, 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 no. This is a I, cry for help. No, I, I, Red Bull, please send me money <laughs> for that sponsorship I did. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the thing. Mimeo can't fool, can fool you. You can't fool me. I know what people get for sponsored campaigns. And I know Mimeo is sitting pretty. And I see his views. He's sitting pretty. I have some clean bowls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it's, it's actually really nice to know that like in 2022, we can actually do what we love, have fun with a video game and, and earn a decent amount of money, a very livable oh, yeah. amount of money. It's so nice. Yeah. Um, and that's a nice thing. I actually wanted to talk about that sponsored slot, but the, I think th you have done raid. Yes. Yeah. I do raid a few times. Raid yeah. pays wonderfully, by the way, guys, um, you should check out. Their... Uh, I think the best paying sponsorship. Of, yeah. Yeah. They've just they're released doom that. tower, a very, very fiery prison where you fight against up to 10 different tiers. I'm not doing, I'm not oh, doing man. it. Um, do you but... have a sponsor voice? Do I have a sponsor voice? Yeah. So like if you do a sponsorship, do you have a certain voice? Uh, I, I, I definitely I, I, do. I use my same voice. Uh, I, I know, yeah. I know that these sponsors expect you to put in a bit of sass, but I'm not going to put in extra sass. Yeah. To, uh, if, See, if I you, think people like that though. You're like down to earth, like yeah, yeah. You know, guys, check out Red Bull if you want. Give it a drink. I, yeah, I tell you I what, like though. Can, can I tell you what? Your Manscaped okay, advert made me order a Manscaped kit, and I checked out the code Mimeo. Did you really? I did. Did you use code Mimeo twenty at the checkout? You yeah. get free international shipping and some boxer briefs and jokes a aside. Bag, can, can, no, I'm not. This is not sponsored by Manscaped. Okay. <laughs> I would like to, to you, you that that kit with the boxes and the and because they, they, yeah. they're doing full body now, right? They're doing face and all that shit. Yeah, the shampoo. I can't remember, remember how so much good. I spent for the kit. I think it was like sixty dollars or something for the kit. Yeah, and it comes with free international shipping, and it's like because the thing is, dudes are fucking gross now. Okay, I, I mean, I might look scruffy, but yeah. I'm soft and scruffy. I'm clean. I'm exfoliating. I reckon you smell good. I are smell, you like a guy that smells? I smell nice. so fucking good. It's yep. disgusting. Yeah, you look like yep, you smell yep, good yep. too, bro. And yeah. yeah. In 2022, people have to look out. Like, I feel so bad for women sometimes when I look at the state of fucking men in the store when they're getting the groceries. And I look at them, I'm like, you fucking scaly ass gross. Yeah, they're all unmoisturized, they're done up nice, presentable. You know, they've got these girls, girl, yeah. their girls next to them shopping with them, and their girls are clean and fresh and they smell good. And you look at these yeah. fucking literal <laughs> ogres. Oh, gross. These primates. Like, they look like some of these guys in the fucking background. Oh, God. Worse. Walking around. Worse. Those guys look yeah. like they smell good. Actually, no, he's very dapper. Yeah, he's rather what dapper. And, and Professor, yeah. a Professor, question mark? Professor, dapper insert G. name here. Yeah. Do you, have you ever worked? Have you ever had like a job? No, this this has actually been it. Okay. I, yeah. I used so to have I, a job. Uh, yeah. And uh, What did you do? IT. A fixed, you know, you okay. know, when you go to the KFC and you order something and they've got the touch screen computers, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did the touch screen computers. Wow, yeah. And when I had to go into the KFC, I had to wear a hairnet, and then that's you, a very specific job, yeah. Point of sale. Well, no, you were the not, not, not was for, it just KFC? No, 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 every restaurant. Oh, okay. I thought you meant you were KFC's computer drive through fixer. No, no, I, I'm, I'm any restaurant that did point of sale, right? And you can okay. imagine it's a big industry. Um, yeah, far. It was de dehumanizing, and now I, I mean, I, it was like a seven day, seven days a week job, twelve, sixteen yeah. hours a day. It was brutal, and that's seven days a week, twelve hours a day, and then you get a salary that is five percent of what a Rust content creator earns. <laughs> yeah. Do you enjoy your freedom, like the the fact that you don't Definitely. have to nine to five it? You, uh, what do you what do you do with your freedom other than create? Because I can imagine you don't create every day. Not every day, but I do, I don't know if, if you're the same or if other people like it. I feel like I don't have enough time in the days. Like I'll release a video and then I feel like I already need to be working on the next one because I upload once a week. It normally takes about a week to make a video. And so I'm, I constantly feel like I'm, I'm working on it every day. I upload once a month and I feel yeah. like I don't have enough time to release two of them. Like it's that, yeah. like it's. I, I pride myself in my editing. I spend a lot of time editing. Yeah. And it's just I like I see some people make videos every day. And I'm like Yeah, no, I don't fuck. know. <laughs> I don't know where the time goes. It'll be yeah. like Monday, I'm like, right, release the video and then I check and it's Monday again. I'm yeah. Like, I, dude, I got the same problem. I, I, I realized like I, I wake up in the morning and drive my kid to school and then I get home and then I, I sit down and like have a cup of coffee and I check my email and then it's like, oh, it's two o'clock. Go fetch your kid from school. Yeah. What the fuck uh, yeah, happened? That's you could do, I get that like every day, man. Every like, day. I'm like, 
And, and yeah, I normally get up early too. I'm up at like six, seven mm. in the morning, and I, I I'll do I watch one YouTube video, and it's twelve o'clock. I'm like, what? dude, have you fucking oh, fallen what? into the have you fallen into the YouTube shorts trap? Not not as much as as some people. I do watch some, but I I click on the the shorts because sometimes they put a very enticing thumbnail or like, and I watch yeah. it, and then I scroll and I scroll, and like six hours later, I'm still watching shorts, and I'm like, what? Oh my god so addictive see, i don't think i scroll with the shorts i think I, I see one and i'll watch it and then i'll be like okay i'm watching the shorts now i should just watch oh uh, i see what you're saying but i'm bad on tiktok i i scroll on there okay now do you, do you feel yeah. that you know obviously i mentioned that you've got shorter format videos yours is n the perfect length of video do you feel that tiktok yeah. and youtube shorts have created a problem for longer duration creators and that people are now desiring quicker shorter bursts of content rather than these longer format videos you think they are damaging it because i think the only people they're really damaging with that is not just these people but very specifically if you have a rust movie i think those don't do as well as a 10 minute rust video anymore because yes. back in the day youtube would push those so much because they were so long mm. and you could fit so many more ads in there yes but now they're realizing people don't want to watch an hour-long video no, they so they're going to click off within the first 10 minutes anyway and not watch all the ads yes so they push the shorter ones more because not only do they have all the ads in it people watch all the ads yes so i think it actually i don't think it hurts i think they've just opened up more opportunities so if you say you make a one hour long video you could split that up into like so many thoughts three minute clips you imagine could. how many shorts you can make out of that and that's that's just another avenue for you to go down now yeah. i think they've just added to what they've already had i think as a society we want shorter content which like you were saying kind of a bad thing but also if we talk about uh before we'll talk about confusions imagine how much effort he puts into five seconds of his intro he puts in the same amount as frost would put into an hour-long cinematic thing but he's putting all that effort into a short video yes so i think it's it's the way you look at it i guess you know, he puts like hours of editing into a three second clip of text moving whereas frost will put hours of effort into this big scene that's going to happen yeah okay. and i think it's i feel that i think yeah i once edited a video where um a guy shot a sniper rifle in slow motion in rust uh, l96 yeah and the bullet went past a scientist's helmet and the bullet reflected I've seen this yeah i think you might have seen that is that on youtube yeah, yeah. It took me yeah. six days to make a three second clip. And there's uh, nothing yeah. more satisfying than people in the comments that are like, holy shit, did you see, you know, this part? It's very satisfying. Yeah. Well, I like it's... the edits where it's, you put in that amount of effort to and then notice. something so minuscule. Or well, even if they don't notice it, it means you did a good job. Like the video this morning that I put up that you watched, the intro of that, the very first shot, was took so long to do because it's just me but there's so much stuff happening in the background. So I had to do everything in the background piece by piece. And then I green screen the hazmat guy in the front. And then I, I had to like merge all these different clips of me in the background together. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting the ad I, revenue now. I don't, have, I don't have premium. Why didn't I like this? I you see the God hazmat like... guys green screened in. And then there's like me in the tank in the background I did next. And then me on top of a rock I did on like a blue screen. And what? then the helicopter added in. I like this that you do. Oh, that was the, the very first shot. Very, very first one. It's like two seconds long. Took the longest out of the whole video. I didn't even notice yeah. that. See? Yeah, I... it's all edited. The whole thing. Yeah. I think it was six different bits of footage that I had to merge together just for that one second because it was just oh, me on the server. That is <laughs> yeah. subtle. That is nice. I yeah. Like See, I like those edits because. Well, I kind of hate them too because you put in all that effort and everyone's uh, like, all right, cool, it's a cool clip. Goes back onto the attention span. Like yeah. it's, I want to start the video with the biggest possible interest. You go, Jesus, what's happening? Yeah. And then you know, like ooh. the first two seconds are the most important. Otherwise people click off. If it was just a static, if it was me running, hitting a tree going, hey guys, today we're going to play out a 1 million times. So oh like, God, you remember? I reckon 40% of people will click off. I was like the, the, the YouTube videos from five seconds ago, uh, five years ago when you had like that, um, and no offense because he's my next guest. Uh, so winter and I was like, you, know, you just spawn on the beach and it's so welcome back uh you know it's said winter welcome, coming at you see, with yeah, no, i hate that people do their intros and i'm like man get on with no it. People, don't do that like just you don't want to go. say it but you want to say no one no one cares enough mm. that's the truth no it's, one cares about anything mm -mm. they don't 
Yeah. So why would they care about, hey guys, welcome back. You already know who it is. It's your boy. Hey, can we get 500 likes? Remember the last video? I it's like, bro, I, this Go. is a random school kid who just found your channel. He's like, who the fuck is this guy? I don't yeah. care. Yeah, yeah. I want to watch the video. That's the key thing for viewers that are watching this. You can't treat every video like you are only catering to your fans. You've got to, sorry, I hate that word fans. Like you're catering to your followers. Yeah. You've got to start a video like you're roping new people. So get on with it. Jog on. That is a very good tip. That's very good. Yeah, that's uh, you're pretty much putting to words what I was trying to get across. Yeah, yeah. I, you need to treat every view like a new viewer because most of them are. Like my majority, I think it's seventy percent or eighty percent of my views are from new. the feed. Yes. Yeah, like they're just from the sidebar. They're not even my subs. Yeah. It's like ten percent subscribe people. They don't even know me. Yes. So, so why do they care if I'm like, hey guys, it's a Mimeo here. It's your the boy. Last video I was talking about that cool thing. <laughs> Like, no, I haven't watched this before. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Lo I, I love that. Treat it like a one-off. I love the fact that you said that. Do you have, other than what you just told me now, tips for people that are aspiring to do what you do? Um, wh wh what do you think has brought your success? And what do you think you can tell a viewer? So I can imagine you, you like me, probably get a lot of DMs. Hey, how, yeah. hey bro, how do I, you know... And we, we all get it. I actually really cater yeah. to them. What is your advice to a viewer? Uh, um, Mimi's little spicy, sexy tip. My spice thing. I mean, this is my mindset's changed just over the past half a year, year, I would say. Like, oh, wow. My content's way different than it was a year ago. Notice which I think it's better. Much. Um, much. And that's just because I've been focusing more on, I think, number one priority ah. is an idea. I think you've got to have a good idea. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you could be doing a vlog a video game if you have an interesting enough idea that's just 70 percent of the way done okay mm. that's all you got to think about you sit there and you really think right what has no one done yet let me think okay i want to do a trap base they're fun a lot of people do them though what can i do okay no one's done anything with a cactus before what can i do with a cactus oh, so and then good. you make this idea that's i just was sitting there and that's the idea that came because no one's doing that sort of thing it was back when i first started no one was doing the rust cinematics and that's what i wanted to do and that's the only reason it got views if i uploaded rust console ps4 gameplay dot mp5 and it's me not saying anything running around shooting people with some dubstep no with some it. complimentary dubstep in the background <laughs> yeah <laughs> copyrighted <laughs> dubstep <laughs> yeah. yeah so i'd say my only tip is um try to do something that you haven't seen before or you know interpret something that you think is cool in your own way and make the idea the priority and also make it shorter whatever you think the good length is for you make it shorter yeah get to the point. like if you think that 13 yes. minutes is yeah. good make it 11 if you think 11 is good make it nine. yeah yeah definitely i i'm still working on it i think my videos are still a, f a fair few minutes too long they uh, drag a little bit i would have to be honest and say that i don't agree with you i i think your videos are the yeah. absolute perfect duration at the moment so you just keyed it in so well and even That's, when they yeah. are 15 i'm watching for I'm not watching uh, I've even That's I've even rewatched your video because sometimes I watch your videos when I, I watch it as soon as it pops up, right? And then I might be busy yeah. with like my kid on my lap, and then I watch it. I'm not giving it my 100 percent attention on my phone type of thing. Yeah. Then I will once I sit down, like oh that, and then I'll load it up on a big screen with decent audio, and then get the full experience. Yeah. So, and then you you watch the idea, and then it's gone. That's done. Mm. That's the other thing I would say. A quite more literal tip would be. Um, especially with outros I've been experimenting with, just have them come in straight away. If you you sit there, you go, wow, guys, that was an epic adventure. If you really liked it, people are going to click off and that's, you know, 90% audience retention. That's if you want 100%, you, oh, I died, video ends. I Outro. fucking love your right outros. I'm going to, I'm going to, this is, uh, <laughs> this is Mimeo's outros and they're so fucking punchy. Check this out. So this is I how think I just died in that and then as, ended it. Yeah, this is how you how you would edit a video um properly. This is how you end a video. <laughs> Watch oh, you guys. We got the mini. No, I'm dead. Oh my god. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's it's not copyright either. Yeah, yeah, really? That baby no money. You should Yeah, no. He um he DM me and he was like, if you ever want to use music, it's not gonna get copywritten or anything. I'm Bro, like, hell yeah. Hook me I up. really like his music. People, you guys don't know this. Mimia does, I know this. The the only parameter that matters, or only two parameters that matter, average view duration and retention time. 
Those two parameters yeah. tell YouTube everything they need to know about how much ad space they can sell. On I would chuck in click through ratio there as click -through well. Click through rate so as well. Having so a good thumbnail good and title, thumbnail. very important. But. Yeah, good thumbnail, good title, yeah. uh, CTR, click through rate. And when they yeah. when they, when people click on your video in a sea of other videos, it tells YouTube it's a good thumbnail. So CTR, yep. average view duration and viewer retention. And they know from those three parameters what ads they can sell, how much they can make of your video. And if they realize, hey, your video is going to be good, they're oh, going yeah. to sell your ad space to advertisers. And that's how you beat the system. So keep going. Another way you beat the system with that, if you want another hot tip. Ooh, I've researched ooh. this a lot. I'm, I'm big on analytics and everything. Tell me, because so I, this, if this I don't know job. about this. I love this, talking about this. If I don't know about this, this is exciting. One thing, this is probably the biggest thing that they prioritize now <clears throat> is if a viewer clicks on another video and watches another video after your first one of yours that will make your it's yeah so at the end of my outros you see i have watch another mm -hmm. if you can make people click on that next video and go from one video to the next of yours it's like uh what's the what's the term snowball like a, like a stare effect a snowball effect yeah but no that's that's the biggest thing you can do if people can go from one of your videos to watching another video of yours youtube actually sees that and goes okay this is a chain reaction because now they're looking at it like well if we promote one video we're actually going to promote three videos of his and that's three times the ads so More money for susan wajiki you've heard it straight from flack and mimeo the four horsemen of the <laughs> apocalypse of YouTube. apparently ctr uh snowballing yep. end of videos if they can click on the next video average view duration viewer retention that's, that's it that's, that's all you it. need you can become a youtuber it's easy we just like anyone can do we it. just helped p people skip like three years worth of trial and error literally yeah yeah that's, this should be a paid cause. This yeah. is a master. You know, fuck you. Donate, donate to me and Mimeo. Click on his yeah, Twitch. Right. Let's, find his link. Twitch, let's click online. Line. Give us money. Fuck you guys. Uh, fuck you. It's so true though, dude, that you mentioned. <laughs> it's so it's so true that you. I just mentioned what I mentioned. Imagine you had a 2022 Mimeo advising you yeah. when you started. Oh man. How further along you'd be in your career. Oh man, Bro, the it would be fun. I, I think I just didn't care back then. I, I didn't care as much because I started not doing it as a job. Obviously, I did it when I was in school, so yeah. I didn't need for the memes, money. Bro. Like, I did it for fun, and then it got to a point. <laughs> Mr. Mimi, it got to a point. <laughs> got to a point where I was making enough. I didn't need to look for a job after school. So that's when I think I cared a bit, but still didn't care that much. I feel like I was just like, oh, I can just do this and make money. Cool. But now I think I, I care the most. Yeah. Especially as of late. So yeah, if, if, if I had a time machine, man, I'd have some tips. Tell me, Mimi, a final question. And this is this is the saucy. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Wow. What is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you in your fucking life? And I, I pray you've got Does something. this count? Does this podcast count? Fuck you. Can we put this in? Fuck your existence. <laughs> fuck Prof I didn't mean Pro Professor Wiggles. Fuck him. Hey! Man doesn't even have a name and you're slagging him off. Bro. Uh, oh, man, that's tough. Yeah, I mean, look. Most embarrassing thing. If you want, I mean, I can reveal my most embarrassing moment and then that will soften you I, up to I yours. mean, I do want to hear that. Yeah, let's hear yours first. So in South Africa, we've got very much high amounts of inequality. There's a lot of poor, there's a smallish medium class, there's a very small rich class, but there's a lot of inequality. And as a result, yeah. there are a lot of beggars and things that, you know, walk about the streets asking you for money. And shit like that. So one day I'm in my driveway, busy washing my car, um, you know, like a normal middle-class family man. And a beggar came up to my gate, a white woman. Uh, and she's like, do you have any yeah. spare clothes? Any? It's like, no, ma'am, I don't. And then she walked away. And then another one came and I was like, sake. so I went inside and I scratched out some shit, you know, some canned foods and some old clothing and I gave washing 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 my car and a third person fucking came hi do you and i'm like three fucking I, I started assuming I, they were different colors maybe, on. Maybe, maybe they were the same family i don't know it wasn't the same one with a wig every time was it <laughs> not crafty just scamming you see <laughs> yeah yeah that that is that is fucking possible and then a third person yeah. comes an african man he comes and, I, and and at this stage i'm losing my fucking mind i just want to wash my fucking car yeah and go inside and go order kfc like a middle class motherfucker and dive in your piles of money yeah God damn it. <laughs> wash myself with some scrooge some mcduck money. yeah <laughs> no and then i carry and wash now i'm angry and then an african woman and a small child fourth fucking person comes 
and they walk up the driveway and I'm like, I turn around. I'm like, I don't have fucking money or food for you. Oh, no. She's like, my son's in your daughter's class. <gasps> oh, no. Really? Bro, it, it was, it was uh, uh, my daughter's fucking classmate. She's giving him a Red Bull and a laptop. So I, I didn't mean that. How do you fucking recover from that? I was like, <laughs> I, yeah. I'm assuming you didn't. I'm assuming she goes to a different school now. Cause that's she, why. Well, yeah. Well, we, we moved houses that, that week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> moved country. I was oh. fucking flabbergasted, but immediately I flipped on the apology switch and I tried to explain why I reacted in the way in which I did. And she had already started walking off and they lived literally down the road from me. So it may, it makes driving Bro. past their house to this day, very fucking awkward. I still drive past and I see, Hey, and she gives me the, yeah, you know, the look. Oh, and no. So I now, I now have to live with this beast. This is my, this is my, that is awful. That's going to trump fuck, anything. Dude, I, 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 I lean bed at night and I think about it like often. Like, I would. That's, yeah. Oh, God. That is awful. Uh, yeah, it was disgusting. That's one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so happy you told me. <laughs> Thank you. I hope the viewers enjoyed it. Oh. But I yeah. mean, something came to mind. It does, it's not better than that. I, I, it, it was pretty I, embarrassing. I hope you could soften the blow a little bit at least. It's pretty bad. Okay. I was, um, it involves alcohol. So, you know, it's kind of well, excusable. Okay. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> That's how every good story starts. Alcohol, uh, life's yeah. real control Z key. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, anyway, so I was at a friend's house and um, it was my first time trying. He had Sam Booker, Sam Booker. Oh, you know that? God, Jesus. tastes like licorice. That is literally. Do you not like licorice? No, that's that's vomit in a bottle. Sam Booker. For those of you that wait don't for know. it, I'll get to the vomit. <laughs> um, wait. Well, see, I really like licorice, so I love the taste. I was oh, like, it's oh, this is it, great. Sam Booker's a great idea. It tastes like licorice. It's delicious. Yeah. The side effects of Sam Booker, but sorry, carry on. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not going to Well, see, I didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, my friend was like, I got to my friend's house. He's like, yeah, try a shot of this. I was like, I've never had it. I had it. I'm like, dude, this is so um, nice. Amazing. I love licorice. He's like, cool, I have another one. I'm like, great. And then he goes, I think we had one more together. And then he goes, um, right, I'm going to go hide this because... This gets you fucked up. And I'm like, oh, okay, you go hide it then. Let's not touch that. So he goes and hides it in his house. Now, we got a bit more drunk later on, and we didn't think he knew where he put it. So he goes, let's go get the Sambuca. So you've already got and three goes, you've got three Sambucas in you and a night of drinking. Yeah, on top of that. Just yeah, beers and whatever okay. what happened. And so he's like, dude, I'll go find that. And I'm like, that's a great idea. Let's do that. So he goes down and finds where he hid it comes back up and we're just we're having too many shots um but it was weird because i felt pretty much sober at this point and i said to my friends i'm like yeah i might head off in a minute and i called myself an uber and i'm like yeah i might go and then it just all the sam booker went to my head it just hit me all at once i was sit there's videos of me that i'm not gonna send you oh come on keep in mind i will describe them because they're awful i'm sitting there drooling on myself i am just the drunkest i've ever been i ran into a wall <laughs> I, it was so bad. I was laying in his bathtub and I just vomited all over myself. And it's black vomit there, and it's black vomit. It. Yeah, black and chunky. It was oh. awful. And that wasn't even the worst part. So I eventually, someone was like, yo, your Uber's here. I'm like, oh, I've got to go, man. So I stumble out into this Uber. He's taking me home and I'm in the back seat behind him and I feel it coming. I know where this is going. And... And I just full vomit and it just went down the collar of his shirt and all oh. over the back of the seat. <laughs> and he stops in the middle of the highway and just screams, get the fuck out. Oh. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And I just got out in the middle of, I don't even know where I was. I somehow walked home. I don't even know where I was. And oh. yeah. And the next day I, I messaged him because yeah, I was like, I felt bad. And I'm like, hey, man. I'll uh, pay the cleaning fee. Sorry about that. And then he just didn't say anything. Just sent me the cleaning fee of like a hundred something, 200 bucks. I'm like, man, I should be paying you more for that. That was awful. Oh God. Yeah. That, you know, I've got first hand experience with Sambuca. So I know exactly what yeah. you're talking about. Sambuca, you know. ladies and gentlemen, please. It's just, please understand. This is not fun. It is, it is Never delicious. 
it has got no <laughs> effect on you until it has its full effect on you. So it that's is. a thing, because I just kept having them like, I'm not even drunk. This, I'll have more. It tastes like a treat. And, then it just, and that's the thing. Yeah. And, and then, then, it, and then about you, a uh, minute. It's like cheat oh. codes. You just you just become a really good headshot <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Um, so so do you still drink Sambuca or were you not a <laughs> not gone? I haven't since then. <laughs> no way. I don't think I'll ever have that again. Yeah, I know. That is oh. the, the devil's oh. juice. It's disgusting. Um, yeah. Tommy Mimio, before we go. Um, yep. I know that was your last question, but I want to ask another. Uh, uh, I missed the script completely and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Is there anything that people don't know about you that you just don't put out into the public? I think people don't know. No, dude. Like I, I do. I, I do very little. I literally garden, and we and my wife. Yeah, like, like I don't good, do much. I like to get a good meal, and we like to watch yeah. good series. You know what I mean? Like we don't do much. Yeah. It's just. Um, I'm a pretty big um, hypochondriac. That's a fun fact. What is that? Like I, I think I'm dying constantly. It's oh, like uh, when I, you, no, you, yeah. think, you think you have an illness, but you don't. Yeah, that's, yeah. Really? That's, that's, that's a fun fact. Yeah, 100%. You, you, like, I used to be like that. And then I, I would like feel like a little, like a little lump in my skin. Yep. And I would lose my mind and I would stick in my whole body. Yeah. And, I, and then I'm like, I have a tumor in my dick. That's it. Oh, you got that? Yeah, if I like get a headache, I'm like, dude, I'm having a stroke or something. Like, or if I get a chest pain, yeah. oh my God. It's done. Like, it's you, bad. You yeah, it, it was, it's not bad now. It was um actually pretty serious a few years ago it got to the point where i became agoraphobic so i couldn't leave the house oh. so i was just yeah i was stuck inside so i just thought i was gonna die every day i don't know why but no but it, it yeah. consumes, so now, you know, consumes you I, I, yeah it i did. had a very light version of what you never had. google your symptoms oh jesus Christ. worst mistake Where did, worst web md slight headache oh you have a brain tumor yeah. in, in your cock yeah you're gonna die brain. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, my girlfriend's like that. She'll be sitting there. She's like, I just had the worst pain in my chest I've had. And she's like, oh, well. And I'm like, what? Like, if that was me, I'd be going to hospital. Be scared, Kid. bro. Yeah. She's like, oh, I just felt lightheaded and felt like I was going to pass out. I'm like, why? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, keep mowing the lo like, What? No. What is wrong with you? Have, have you <laughs> have you met um, Stumpy in real life? Yeah. Oh, you have? So okay. a couple of times, yeah. So I, he, I, he came down for that rinsed fishing video. Oh, of course, then, yeah, of course. I'm idiots. I actually yeah, watched it. Yeah, but I, I've met him twice before that, and then he's coming down in one week's time to oh. here, and we're going to a uh, haunted jail, one of the most haunted jails in the world, and it's just us. We got the whole thing to ourselves, and we're filming a ghost hunt. You fucking joking? Is that going on rinsed? It'll be on Mimeo, actually. Oh, on your main. Yeah. Bro, yeah. so, that is yeah. so exciting. It's going to be good. I'm very excited. In one week's time, I've got so much ghost equipment. i got night vision cameras, GoPros in how, my room. How did you manage to um, to secure that facility? Do you have to like book it? It's such a, it's been such a headache. I won't lie. Really? It's, I mean, I thought it would be easy because I think maybe one or two YouTubers have been there before. I'm yeah. Like, okay, we can I, just... I actually love watching those was... videos because like, and then I wanted to myself, yeah. legally, how are they allowed to be there? Because you can't just wander into yeah. somebody's property. It doesn't work like that. Um, yeah, you can't shut down a prison for for a night. Like, it's difficult. Um, the wait, first thing we have to do... Is it an think... active prison? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> but they do... It's like a museum. They do like tours there. Of course, of course. So, so we have to have... A, I think we've got it for four hours, something like seven to 11 at night. And um, so I had to buy a filming be... license first to film in public, which I didn't even know I needed. What? So I had to apply for that, which took ages. And then the jail itself had all their own costs for the hours that we're filming there for. And then I had to get public liability insurance because if we trip and fall in the jail, just all these things I didn't think about. And it has been such a headache. I just headache. thought you grab a camera and you go into a cool place and film it. So that's what I thought. I had to get the council involved. It's a nightmare. Right. But it's all sorted now, and um, we go in on uh, next Monday, I think. So I, Stimpy's going to be here for two nights, have a little sleepover. It's been an investment, but with all the equipment, I think we want to do more. And yeah, I'm I'm so keen. I watch a lot of ghost adventures. That's, that's I am shit, fascinated that by that genre, and also not only ghost adventures, just people walking in abandoned locations. I fucking love that. Show. Yeah, that too. So like, so cool. It's definitely like if you can do a hybrid between like with rinsed comedy in that scenario. Oh my yeah. god, you are sitting on PewDiePie money, bro. Oh. But what I think the ultimate goal will be like, yeah, exploring these haunted or abandoned places, but you have like a new guest YouTuber every time. 
Yeah. I think that would be. be you are literally on sure. sitting on a money printing machine. That's going to be insane. <laughs> yeah. So watch it. We'll see how it goes. It, sh it should be fun. I'm, I'm very kidding. excited to see that. Oh my God. Yeah. I love that. That's nice. Okay. So guys, if you want to see that content of Mimeo and Stimpy in real life, walking <laughs> around an abandoned Dealing prison. with demons and ghosts. It's apparently haunted. People have been scratched there. People, it's fucked up. Oh, I might. Wow, die. this is probably. I might get most, possessed. This is the most exciting video of 2022, bro. I'm. I know. I agree. Oh, I'm so excited. God, no, I, I I'm yeah. not even joking. I'm not trying to hype you up. Can <laughs> cool. I can't wait for that. When do you think the video will be out? Yeah, like in a month. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's. I mean, we we film it on Monday, so we film it in about a week. Yeah, let's say like two and a half weeks, three weeks. I can be like that. Oh yeah. my God, Mimeo, before we go, can I ask you one thing, bro? And I, I yes, wanted please. to do this blue and I fucking forgot. I want to teach right. you some of my language. Oh God. And this is going to end up being racist somehow. No, no, it's going yeah. to be an insult, but it's not going to be a racist. It's going to be okay, like a... Okay, all right. So we've got a, a slander and I want to get everybody to say the same slander. It's like the, the it's the zinger in our yeah. country. You're, you're, this is how it goes. Yo ma. So you want me to repeat it? Yeah, yeah. So, yo ma supposed. It almost sounds like, does it mean your mother's a pussy? It's, it almost sounds like, like your mom is such a pussy. The weird thing is, is that it means your mother's vagina, but. See? Right, it's an insult. So, I don't know how, but okay. it is an insult. But it goes, like, yo ma sapus. Oh, alter, it's one word. Yeah. Well, no, it's not one word. It's yo ma. But it, you say it together. Your mother sapus. Yo ma sapus. Who? <laughs> All right, your masterpus, your masterpus. Uh, yeah, fucking your masterpus. Why are you doing Italian hands, bro? <laughs> I don't know. See, I don't. I don't uh, know, dude, dude I'm, I'm gonna get every Rust creator in the world to say that, and it's gonna it's be like the funniest. your mother's vagina. That's how you drop the gloves in South Africa. You no, your masterpus. No, 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 your, your ma mother's so puss. Yo, your your pa yeah. so feel and all that. Your uh, pa so cock. Please don't. Right. <laughs> I'm literally going to use this as my clickbait on Twitter. Your Mimi are going, your master fools with Italian hands for some reason. <laughs> Italian music in the background just makes no yeah. sense. Oh, that's going to be great. Mimi, wow. it's been a fucking pleasure. Oh my God. What a great Dude, video chats. this is going to be. Thanks for having me, man. No, thank okay. you. I appreciate oh, no. you so much. Viewers, I'm going to end it here. Thanks a bunch for watching. Thank you for your time, Mimi, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Your thumbnail pick. Ready? Oh, oh, wait, wait, oh well, hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you want it to be? No, no, no. Move the move the mic. Let's let's do this. Okay. Bro. I mean, since since All we right. do, this, it's gonna be my new thing. So let's get some sure. thumbnail faces. Get out of the frame. Uh, right. Okay, so I'm gonna read out random things to you, okay? And then you okay. gonna you gonna react. So. All right. You won ten million dollars. Um. Okay. Um. Is a haunted ghost chasing you? Same same reaction. Yeah, it's the yeah, same okay. face. Um, no, yeah, give me another. One. Um, Stimpy, pull down your zipper. All singing low, while a pop a bottle off a yacht chain swinging, clang clang. I knew you were gonna do that. I fucking knew you were gonna do that. All singing low, while a pop a bottle off a yacht chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always at the gala, yeah, and you are not bad as people.